Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video, which is going to be my Sephora VIB sale wish list and recommendations video. This video is going to go live on Thursday, so I definitely want to share my wish list with you. I am VIB Rouge, and so I plan on shopping the sale on Friday to make sure that I can get all the goodies that I decide upon. This is just a wish list, not necessarily something I'm going to buy everything from, and I wanted to share my list with you so that you can help me out, help me tighten the budget just a little bit. And pick out only the very best. I'm also going to share with you four products that I think have really really added something to my pretty extensive makeup collection. I'm not a channel that very lightly says you need this, 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 this. I mostly share my experiences and let you make your own decisions. So I wanted to give you a recommendation for four items that I think are really unique and really special that I've tried lately to give you some ideas in case you were interested in trying out something new. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I'm Jody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you'll enjoy my video and consider subscribing for three brand new videos every single week. Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. I want to start with the products that I'm recommending for you and I have four of them in different categories. The first one is a foundation and this is something if you're not new to my channel, you've heard me rave about this before. It's been in a favorites video. It is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I am in the shade Chios which is SF6. Today I'm looking a little bit more bronzy than normal but I do leave some of my best foundation matches in the description box if you're interested in knowing what my shade actually is and how it compares to yours. In any case, what I love about this foundation is that it is a true lightweight serum foundation. The ingredients of this foundation are amazing. It has a lot of skin loving ingredients. Ilia is a clean at Sephora beauty brand as well. So if you're interested in clean beauty, this is something that I recommend you check out. What I love about this foundation on my dry skin is that it is very luminous, very high hydrating, very sheer lightweight. It only creates a perfected base. It's not going to be something with really heavy coverage. It goes on so, so easily. It wears, it wears beautifully throughout the day. I really can't say enough about this foundation. I did do a whole dedicated review to the foundation, so if you want to see more, I'll leave it up in the cards, but I think it's something truly special, especially if you have dry, more mature skin like I do. This is incredible. I'd also like to recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is the Easy Contour Wand. It's basically a cream contour product. It comes in two different shades. It's a little bit pricey. The packaging honestly is not the best. It's got this sort of twist sponge tip applicator and it's just not the best packaging honestly. I'm not wearing this one today. Today I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Tan Tour which is a nice product as well but not as easy to blend as this one. I think this one is a lot more foolproof than the Huda Beauty one. One, although the Huda has the advantages of coming in a lot more shade ranges. This one is only available in two shades. So I have mine in the shade Fair Medium. So there is a darker shade and I'm going to swatch it right here. So you can see it's a very cool tone kind of contour and what I like about this is how easily it blends out. You can really draw on your contour with this, then you want to close the applicator and you can blend out after that. It looks a little bit scary when you first apply it, but it blends out so easily that you really cannot mess it up. If you're new to contouring, this is a great, great place to start. And even if you're not new to contouring, I think that this is something that you'd really, really enjoy. It's a cream product that no one needs to really feel intimidated by. It's just so easy to use. I love it. I did a whole video dedicated to Charlotte Tilbury products and I tried out a lot, like literally 20 some products I tried out and this ended up being top three. So I definitely recommend this one. Lately, I've been making a big fuss about the new Milk Makeup Highlighters. These are the Flex Highlighters and the one I especially want to recommend is in the shade lit and this is what the shade looks like it is your typical champagne highlighter what I love about this one is that it is an intense intense highlight. I don't think that it's possible to go into this highlighter with a light hand. You're gonna go from zero to like a thousand as soon as you apply it. It is so reflective and it's more metallic, absolutely no shimmer in it at all. It blends so beautifully over bare skin or foundation products and it just looks so amazing. I do enjoy an intense highlight when I go full glam and this really achieves it. The formula is so creamy, so soft. That's what the shade looks like. So it's your traditional champagne shade and it is just so intense. I mean, look at that. That swatch is absolutely not doing it justice. I've shared this in a favorites video before. It comes in about five shades, but I have to 
warn you that all the shades are not the same because I have another one in the shade Blitzed, which is more of a rose gold shade, and that one does have glitters. So if you're interested in checking this out, I would definitely try to check them out in store and swatch them and get a feel for the texture. Definitely swatch this one so that you can see what I mean in the creaminess of the powder. The Blitz shade does not have the same texture, so even though this is available in both lighter and deeper tones, I don't think the formulas are the same across the board. So if you're my skin tone, maybe a little deeper, maybe a little lighter, Lit would definitely work for you. Otherwise, definitely check out the other shades in the store. Lastly, I love eyeshadow. I'm a big fan of Natasha Denona products, and so I wanted to recommend one of her palettes. This is the Mini Gold Palette. It's one of her mini palettes, obviously, so it's definitely on the more affordable side of the price range. And what I like about this palette is that she's definitely true to her formula. The mattes are beautiful, creamy powders, and you have two mattes, which are those two right there. And then you have three metallic shades, which are very true to her metallic formula, and her metallics are really beautiful. I especially like this shade right here. This shade is called Dior, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful gold shade. Let me swatch that one. So you can see it's like an old gold bright shade. But what I like about it is that even though it has those mossy green vibes, it's definitely wearable and not too bold for the everyday. You can create a lot of looks using this palette. I love the looks that I've created from it. It's just an easy to travel with size as well. So I think if you're new to Natasha Denona, this is a great place to start, especially if you're drawn to these mossy green eyeshadows the way I am. This is beautiful. Those are the four products that I think have really added added something to my collection that are available at Sephora in uh, I would say the last several months or so so look into them if you've tried them let me know what you think about them I only want to recommend absolutely the very best now let's go ahead and get into my wish list so that you can let me know what you think so I have my phone handy so that I can go through my wish list right now my total is $299 regular price with the items that I have on my wish list but I do have to add one more product that is going to be available starting tomorrow so that's not being factored in to my wish list so I'm going to go in the order that I added the product and I'll put some pictures on the screen so that you can check them out the first item that I wanted is the Sephora favorite superstar set and the reason why I want it is for the Fenty highlighter I really like the Fenty highlighters the dual highlighters because you have one that's a little less intense for every day and then one that's really BAM in your face and so I think they're really versatile that way and the shade that is available in this collection is the Mean Money and Hustla Baby uh, highlighter, which a lot of people have really raved about. That's been one of the most popular ones since she launched her line, and I don't have that one. I have a couple of others. I have Girl Next Door, which is a little bit more pink, but this one is like your traditional champagne, and I've been really curious to try it. I think the highlighters on their own are about $38, and this kit is $48. It also comes with a full-size NARS lipstick and an Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I do use as well. So I think it's just a really great value for the money. And right now it has almost a perfect 5-star rating, so I'm really liking this one. Although, I have to admit, I saw a set at JCPenney that has the same highlighter and fewer sample size items, and it's at an even lower lower price so I was wondering if maybe I should pick that one up instead because I think that one was exactly $38. I don't think it included the NARS lip product but I have a lot of lip products right now so I don't know. I just think it's a really great value. The next product that I have on my wish list is from Sol de Janeiro and if you've watched any of my empties videos you always see that I have Sol de Janeiro in my empties because I'm addicted to their Bum Bum Cream, the original fragrance, the new one, even the reformulated one I'm not a fan but the original Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is so divine. I love the shimmers that it adds to my body as well. I love the scent. It's just such a pampering experience and they have the Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream which they only come out with right near the holidays. It's super expensive. It's $76.00. Right now it's about four and a quarter stars and I've purchased the Biggie Boom Boom size before and I went through it <laughs> like water basically. But it is the most cost effective way to purchase this lotion and again with 20% off then it's even more affordable. And I just, I really love it. I know I'll use it. I always do. So that's something that's on my wish list. Next I have something from Hourglass and it is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Holiday Trio. It comes with three minis of their Scattered Light eyeshadows. I do enjoy their eyeshadows. 
I had, I forget the color of it, it's the green one. It's one of the newer ones to their line in my favorites before. It's so beautiful. These are so sophisticated and easy to use. My main complaint is just hard to get my hands into the pot because of my long nails. I do like the shades that are here and I've been hearing a lot about one shade in particular. It's the shade Ray, which is supposed to be a deep champagne. I've heard lots of people rave about that one and it is a limited edition color that's only available in this set. The sizes are a little bit smaller than full size, but still it takes a long time to go through a single eyeshadow product and here you're getting three. I do like two of the three shades. The third one is pretty too, but it's more of a cranberry shade and when I'm going for a potted product like this, I'm going for something a little less fussy. In any case, it's $46. It has a perfect five star review right now. It's only got five reviews though. I suspect a lot of people are waiting for this to go on sale, but I know I like the formula and these are really, really pretty. So I'm definitely debating on those. Next, I have something from Dominique Cosmetics and it is the Celestial Storm Palette. This one is the newest palette to her line. It retails for $44. And when it first launched, I saw a lot of people doing reviews with them. Most people enjoyed it. They were a little conflicted with the color story because there's a lot of blues and purples and it's a little less wearable than her other palettes have been. But I love bright, beautiful colors. I love playing with makeup. And you know, to me, it's an experiment on my face. I can always wash it off if it looks bad and you know, it's not permanent. So why not have a little fun with it? Now this one retails for $40. $44 and you do get 12 shades. There's a mixture of mattes and shimmers. Right now it has four stars and only seven reviews, but I did hear that in BoxyCharm for November, we're going to be getting like a miniature version. I forget what it's called, something Storm. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the mini palette is called, but I think that it was created specifically with BoxyCharm in mind and I thought maybe I should try out that one before I invest in another one, but then if I wait, then of course I'm not going to to be able to take advantage of the sale anymore and in general this uh, brand has gotten pretty good reviews I have tried her lip glosses and they're beautiful I really like them so I have that palette in my wish list and then I have another eyeshadow palette with a very similar color story and it is from artist couture now this one was sent out in PR to a lot of different influencers so I saw quite a bit about it on YouTube this one has more of a pinky purple vibe to it and 12 reviews perfect five star rating this one is only eight shades and it kind of looks like a a slightly condensed version of the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm palette so I don't know that I necessarily need both and with Artist Couture this is their first pressed eyeshadow palette so it's a brand new formula and one that I'm really curious to try out this one is $29 so it's also more affordable so I'm very curious about that one let me know if you've tried it out and what you think about it I think it's really pretty but I also did just recently purchase the colored rain power collection and I feel that a lot of the colors that are in this palette are in that one as well especially the purples and I love their formula that palette was beautiful so I'm not exactly necessarily sure that I need this one but it is really pretty and I want to try out every eyeshadow formula I also added a couple of other products these are from Patrick Ta and he just recently launched another collection which he's calling the monochrome moment and it includes like blushes, lip creams, and lip liners, as well as a couple of makeup brushes. And I did choose a blush, and the one that I chose uh, was the one in the shades She's Sincere. Right now it has perfect five stars, but it's only one review. The She's Sincere shade looks like a very neutral, very everyday kind of shade. And what I like about the way that the shades are presented is that they are swatched on different skin tones. So I kind of picked a medium skin tone to see how it was going to look. That one looked really pretty on the models, so hopefully it'll look pretty on me too. It's $32 which is really expensive for a blush. I know that the cover effects ones are you know in the upper 30s but you're getting two products in those and this is only one but it's a new brand and in general it's been really pricey. He recently launched some gift sets which I already purchased. I wasn't thinking about the sale and I purchased one of the sets already so I can try the body luminizer as well as one of the lip glosses so I was really curious about the blush and then the lip product that I chose. It's called a Silky Lip Creme. I love comfortable lip products. I don't like stamping lipstick on my coffee cup. I don't like the way it looks, but the most comfortable lip products do transfer. Like for instance, I'm wearing a NARS Velvet Lip Glide, and yes, I have some of it on my coffee cup right now, but this one is in the shade She's Secure. It's a pretty nude, and again, I looked at the different models to see which one might look best on me, and it's super pretty. I decided to pass on the lip liners because I have other 
color lip liners I think I could pair with it if I need it. But hopefully it's going to be a pretty opaque product. The applicator looks like your typical triangular shaped doe foot applicator. It looks really pretty and they look like beautiful nudes on the models. Really all the shades look good on everybody. Again, perfect five star review, but only two. Those are the products that totaled to the $299. Now, the last remaining product that I was really, really curious about is from Huda Beauty, and it retails for $67. It already has five stars, and maybe it's from someone who bought it from her website because she launches things first from her own website. But since this is $67, it's really pricey, and I'd rather take advantage of the sale if at all possible. So I do like the color story. It looks a little bit light but to be honest so did the new nude palette which is that really rosy pink one and that palette looks beautiful I've seen it on deeper skin tones as well and it looks really really stunning I have enjoyed all her eyeshadow palettes especially the desert dusk palette and the new nude palette I think they're just lovely and this one has kind of a bright fun color story definitely in the rosy pink family but also has some pops of turquoise which I enjoy and a little bit of purple as well it just looks like a really really pretty palette and and I like the name of it, Mercury Retrograde. So this one is going to be available in Sephora on October 31st. So really, really close to the time when the VIB sale starts for VIB Rouge, which is November 1st. So I definitely have this in my wish list. And that is basically everything. So let's see, that would be $366. I don't want to spend that much money. So I'm definitely asking you for your recommendations if you've tried any of the products on my wish list and how you think I should prioritize things. Maybe I'll spend like, $200 uh, but I really didn't want to pass that I've been buying a lot of makeup even faster than I can use it which I mean there's a problem with that <laughs> that's everything I wanted to share for this video let me know what you thought in the comment section down below I actually will not be working on Thursday so I'll be able to address your comments if there's anything on your wish list that you would like to know if I've tried definitely leave that in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to let you know what I think of the product and if I think it's worth the splurge or not other than that that's everything for today's video if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would really love to see you here again thank you so much again I hope you're doing really well wherever you are and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon on my next one bye bye